Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are playing Urbex City Builder and building Villa Flores. And this is coming back because of your feedback, your likes, and your subscriptions. Thank you so much. In today's episode, we are going to focus on making this city an absolute powerhouse because of how important power is in this game. In the previous episode, we struggled a bit with this. But we don't have enough energy and we're about to run out of electricity. You see that we now have a, a deficit in power. We are now at a deficit with our power. And every time that we run out of power right over here, the consequence is that our city stops leveling up. And in some cases, I, I can't even tell that it's happening. So we are going to fix that today. And we're also gonna build this little park right here that I missed in the previous one. So let's get to that right now. There we go, one more nice park. Things are looking up. So the thing I want to focus on is coal. So to get our coal mine unlocked, we need to have a larger population. Not a big deal. We've got some overhead in terms of food and power, so we can certainly do that. So let's build a little neighborhood right here. And we're gonna be a little more thoughtful about this that one than maybe some of our others. Uh, what we're gonna do is come around like this. Now, I really wanted to be able to build this here. I don't know that this is gonna be close enough. This, it should be, okay. The reason I wanted this is I wanna put a plaza in the center. And we, if we do that, it should level up quite a bit. So let's go ahead, we'll add a plaza right in here. Maybe we'll go with Floral Plaza. That's a nice little four unit, and look at that. Really attractive little asset. So this is gonna get all of these to level up. We have these village houses, and what they need to become a wealthy village house is food service, so not a lot, not a lot. So let's focus on that food service. We will get rid of that and add in a food service right here, mini market. And really I should, I should, I should tell, I should look to see what other one is. We have a mini market right here. So if I add this here, I just wanna make sure we have, we have some overlap. Truthfully, this would probably be better back here, but there's not really a way that I can make this happen. And I do wanna maximize the density. I'm thinking this might actually be a better spot. So we'll uh, we'll call a bit, of a bit of a mulligan there, and we'll add that right there. I'm gonna also add another bridge. There's no penalty to adding bridges, so why not do so? We've got this gray bridge, add that right there. Beautiful. And along the coast, just to make myself happy, <laughs> we're gonna have a couple of nice parks. Not really a, a need for it. I guess we could, maybe that's a little, looks a little weird. Let's go with something a little more understated. There we go, I like that. So what this will do is also help our roads level up. We need to have greens within there. It says this is a nice rural, rural road now. <laughs> that's, that's, that's nice, I like it. All right, so for our population, what did this do for us? First of all, we are now under our, pop, our power that we need. So that was something I was worried about. So this is the whole focus today. Power, our food, we're almost at an equilibrium, so that's a concern. We're gonna need to keep going. We need more power, it's a problem. So clicking on the water mills, it seems like this should be, a, oh, you know why it's not okay? Too close to this one, so we'll have to come here. Too far from a road, always a problem. So we'll send a road up here. I think that we're just gonna have a smaller little area right here, and that should be sufficient. That's, so interestingly, I can place it, oh, that's a lumber camp, hold on. <laughs> Look, what is going on? Right there, there we go. I wish I could place it here, it's not gonna let me. I guess here, maybe I, nope, too close, no? Doesn't work. So you have to have the dark yellow for it to, to fit. So, just a few locations, gotta be aware of those. Okay, and it wouldn't be me if I weren't inadvertently going back to the pause menu. So, there we go. Now we do have a deficit of food. Things are leveling up because we added the power. We're starting to see some of these village houses become wealthy village houses. And I wonder, why aren't these? Oh, food services again. So, if we had more food services, some of these would also swap over. So that's why we have that clear division. Here it is, I think it might just be the food. So we need more farms. We're gonna to have to continue work on that. So let's send this road over. Gotta complete our farm. Maybe complete's the wrong word. You're never really done with your farms. And we'll need another grain silo. That's too close. We could put it over here though. Farmhouse is within radius, so that is a concern. So I could add another farmhouse right here. And I'm gonna add some fields. And then I'll add some tenant farmers, not tenement farmers. 
God, which I think I kept saying in the last one. <laughs> so, you know, I just, you get something stuck in your head and you just keep going with it. There we go. And I wonder if there are any other places where I can fit this in. So that's the thing, this is, it's a puzzle too. So there is a way to fit these in better than other ways. So if you wanna min-max it, you, that's certainly something that's well within your right. I'm gonna do that a little bit. And we've got some stuff happening here. I'm not gonna get overly crazy about that, but I am gonna add some farm roads through here and farm along the coast. I like that a lot. I think that's pretty nice. And then we'll bring this back here as well and then farm as much as we can back there. We'll leave the forest. I think it kind of feels nice. I don't have enough resources to build this. Because now that I've gone ho uh, hog wild with this, I don't have enough residents to actually build more farms. So we're going to have to think about that. More residents, it's that balance. And I need to tell myself that I, I remind myself that I can't just build large swaths of things. Because if you do that, you run into problems like we just had. Our work went down to zero. And that's going to be really problematic once we hit our population. Oh, there we are. Our coal mine is unlocked. This is going to take a lot of work from us. Four work costs a thousand. We're going to let, we're going to speed this up for a second and think about the best place for this. So interestingly, coal mines can go anywhere. They don't need to be next to a resource like this. So we could just look for some fairly unsuitable, unfavorable land and place it there. That said, this is going to create, uh, it's gonna produce 10 coal, it's gonna store 500, and it's gonna consume 120 work. So that's a lot of work. We don't actually even have enough right now. We're gonna need more houses. So we need to, need to have no coal mines within the radius. It's not producing pollution if we level this thing up to a heavy coal plant in the future, or to a, if we level up a coal plant next to it, the coal plant will produce pollution and the heavy coal plant will produce even more. So we do need to be thoughtful about where we're placing this because we don't want to pollute our city. It'll prevent our buildings from leveling up. I'm thinking about sneaking this back here. That said, let's just survey a little bit. We could do SimCity style, but way over here. <laughs> so, but there are reasons why you want it closer to the city. It's gonna help things level up down the line. I think we're gonna sneak it back here. So what I'm gonna do is build a road. I'm gonna try to keep this in mind. Got this right here, and I use that tree as my guide, those two trees, and I wanna keep this away. So we're put, we'll put it right here. Hopefully it doesn't impact any of these. I don't think it does. We'll have to, we'll have to see. And then we'll send this right up. And now we don't have enough, we, we don't have enough uh, work. So let's build a coal worker's house. What I think we're gonna do is send a road down here and create a little neighborhood for the coal workers. They're not gonna want the pollution either, so let's be respectful of that. So we see that this these already became a coal miner's house. They're within plot proximity of that coal mine. This is one of the things I really love about this game, the fact that it has a, it, it takes the context of the built environment, of the buildings, where the buildings are located within the built environment changes what you're building it's it's just a really neat way of, of looking at this so here we've got to have a coal mine within five radius so these ones don't actually work for that so i'm going to remove this delete this and shift our road over and then we'll build our homes here because i want to try to get to this three-story coal miner house eventually Nine thousand populations way out of our <laughs> reach right now but we'll get there eventually and uh let's plan for that so we've got that. We're gonna give some more over here. Let's really pack these things in. Ooh, what is this? Unhappy, distance to road one square. Interesting. All right, so let's fix this. So we'll give them a gravel area in the center. Give them a bit of leisure. Oh, no, we won't because we don't satisfy the work requirement. We're at a deficit. Oh, you can see that. Yeah, we're almost at an equilibrium, which is bad. We're gonna to continue to build along the coast. And the reason for that is we can get power from there. No other reason other than our ability to, to build power plants. We're trying to get away from hydroelectric and move towards uh, dirtier coal, <laughs> which you know, might sound a little awkward, but we're doing that because it's a much, it produces so much more energy. And that's really what we're looking for right now. We're still at the point in the game where you're just trying to reach some thresholds 
And once you get there, you can you can start to make your city the pretty place you want it to be. We're not quite there yet. So we're gonna need to continue to just, whoops, I thought I was building roads instead I built a bunch of crazy houses. Um, so we're not, yeah, because we're not there just yet, we're gonna continue to just kind of sprawl into the oblivion, respond to, to, to issues as we see them and keep the population growing. So there we go, we've got this and we have a power deficit. Now I'm really excited about this because now we get our coal plant. So this produces 10 pollution, which stinks. And it needs to be within, I don't know that it actually needs to be within a radius of this plant. Maybe that was just something I had in my head. So it produces 10 pollution, needs to be within three squares of a road. I'm gonna place this right behind it and see what happens. So this is in the desert, which is kind of fun. Uh, let's see, we've got this, produces lots of energy. We want a heavy coal plant. We need 7,000 populations of downtown houses and logistics. I don't even know if we have logistics yet. We That's warehouses. So we do not, and that is because we do not have, do we not have enough coal? Ah, uh, we've got them now. Okay, so these are important for a variety of reasons. So first of all, you need it to, to level up your coal plant into a heavy coal plant in the future. But the reason it's really important is for us right now is gonna be our grain silos. So if we take a look at this, if we want this to be a modern grain silo, we need a population of 3,500, and then we need to have a whole bunch of logistics around it. So this requires six logistics. Logistics, interesting because they take a lot of resources. So we need some of our skilled work just to get it built. And we also are gonna consume a little bit of everything, power, skilled work, normal work, and iron. So very important. And I also want to see another reason why this is important. We have our iron mine here. We can have a heavy iron mine, which will produce a ton more iron and store a ton more, consume a whole bunch more. We also need logistics for that. So logistics is one of the most important things in the game. When you take a look at it, we build these, it upgrades the roads right away. And once we have enough population here, which we will very soon, we'll see what this does. Continue to build out just a little ways, bring this up. City's planning way, way ahead and is going to start building out its roadway network. So interestingly, we kind of uh, branch off into, into something very rural out here. And I, I like that a lot. So we are going to continue to do that. Let's see if we can fill in a little bit here. The sprawling for the sake of sprawling isn't ideal. If we can have a nice, tight, dense a uh, bit of density back here we should absolutely do that we're also it's it's just it's much more space efficient because we have a bunch of resources in this area already so we should keep an eye on those so the sorts of things we are missing over here we do not have if we wanted to get this upgraded let's say we wanted it to be a suburb house which was going to produce some of that sweet sweet skilled labor for us we're going to need education leisure and food service we got one uh, but i think we could use another so let's start thinking about some of these things so a mini market is gonna be very important for us. In fact, I'm going to try to figure out where our closest one is right here. I think if we built one up here, oh, we actually need it right here, which isn't ideal in my opinion. It's fine though. Why don't we do something a little creative with this? We'll make it a special little mini market. <laughs> Just a, a really nice place to hang out. And we will add a lateral park next to it. So now we've got our leisure, we've got our food service, and now we need some education, a school that fits nicely in there. Let's make this even better. We'll have a floral park through there, and then we'll fill in some housing. And I love that the roads upgrade. Again, another thing that upgrades within the context of what's happening around you. So we've got our roads upgrading, and that's just really neat. So these, are, I don't think these will be able to upgrade to anything, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm gonna wanna keep an eye on this once this finally gets there. We're out of iron, so that's a, that's a problem. I think we can get away with adding another iron mine up here, though. I'm gonna add that right here by our farm, which stinks, uh, but we'll add that there so that we have more iron. So the warehouses are consuming iron. This right here, this iron mine, is only producing five. So that's not great. We're gonna need to think about that. That said, these resources aren't gonna deplete super fast. So I'm gonna add another one right here. I don't know if they're gonna deplete at all, if I'm being completely honest with you. So we will certainly find out. So I'm gonna to try to min-max this. We'll place another one right there. And we'll have another one right here. 
Oh, and look at all of that iron that we have now. 18. Wow. <laughs> that, really, that really doesn't feel impressive. Now, I didn't realize that the iron miner's house produces uh, some of the iron as well. So we are going to want to give that some thought. So if I place these right here, these are clearly going to become iron miner's house. One or more iron industry within a five unit radius, 10 residents, six happiness, one unit to roads. So I think this is the ticket. So is this good planning? I don't think so, but that's okay. <laughs> Sometimes you have to have bad planning to, to get your city to, to look okay, to, to work okay, rather. Not look okay. I don't know that this looks great. All right, I'm gonna loop something back here too, just to, uh, this is the iron mining industry and we can admire all of our iron. It's like a park almost. <laughs> so there we go. And we will make this a nice place to live by adding a park. Nothing fancy, just a little paved area, a little spot to hang out. And these are all turning into Iron Miner's house. And now we are actually getting almost as much, we're getting more production from the Iron Miner's house than we are from anything else, which is kind of fascinating. So that could have been something I would have left on the table had I not realized that. And interestingly, I wouldn't hut back here. We'll get rid of that. There we go. Iron Miner's house. Lots and lots. And we are now short on food again. It's constantly whack-a-mole with this kind of stuff, so things to think about. And we did have this expand upgrade into a modern grain silo, which is what I was hoping for. The difference. So here we're looking at 400 production, 400 storage, 10 skilled worker, or skilled work consumption. Over here, it's half of that. So it's not, it's not consuming anything, but it's producing half. To deal with our issue here, I think that we're just going to go ahead and try to put in within a radius. So this modern grain silo needs to be within six logistics within four radius. So they, they did that very purposefully. <laughs> so there's, there, I, there's no way that I can, I can get these to share it, I don't think. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's it's like right on the edge. Okay, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out. We'll get rid of those. We will add some warehouses. Immediately levels up. And we'll do the exact same thing over here. And I've gotta be careful, because I could get all of these uh tenant farmers <laughs> to be very unhappy. So let's not do that <laughs> by eliminating the farms by their house. We'll get the exclamation points then. We don't want that. We don't want that at all. Okay, there we go and all these are upgrading. These residents are very unhappy. I don't like that. I don't know uh, what I could do to fix that. I wonder if, what if I add, what, you guys want a bar? Would that make you happier? I will get rid of this house because it's in a weird spot anyway. And we will add a village bar and see if that improves things. If, I'm, if I am one of these iron mining folks, I want to go to the bar and go hang out after a long day of work. In fact, I used to live next to uh, a hot dog factory and the hot dog factory on the campus actually had a little bar in there and the hot dog factory closed down the bar closed afterwards it's kind of sad to see that it was oscar meyer yeah, so just one of those one of those things if you've ever had a oscar meyer hot dog i believe it moved to iowa to dubuque maybe or quad cities one of the two that said interesting to see that there's a bar right on 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 the campus itself actually within the fence of it so it's kind of a, a unique situation so this bar seems to have done nothing to make them happier here they're unhappy as well i think that the iron miners homes just might be an unhappy lot so if we wanted to improve our happiness and you might wonder why if we wanted to get mansions which produce a ton we would want to get our happiness to 10. and the only way that we're going to be able to get there is policies most likely which is kind of unfortunate not exactly where i'd like to go with that but Got plenty of work, so I'm gonna load up on farms right along here, fill in some of this area. I don't wanna take down the forest, so we're just gonna build this right up to the edge. So now you have that transition in between the rural area, and I wonder, I could, I could, could I fill these in? This is something that you'll see in real life sometimes, is these just, you know, farms right in between all of these, wherever there's space. Oh, field cannot be built in the desert. Interesting. I feel like I've learned something important there. I should be not building, I should be building all of these things in the desert, all of the buildings. So this is good. I wonder if the desert grows. Something to think about. We need to get the rest of these to level up. We're good there, we're good there. 
And if we wanted to get a heavy iron mine, we need to get another thousand population approximately. And we've got some suburb houses now. What if we want a wealthy suburb? It's all population. So we're gonna continue to improve this and not rotate this around. We don't wanna get, we don't want that nauseous feeling. Maybe we'll check this out from this angle though, because I do appreciate and like this quite a, quite a lot. Now, with all of this development, we've really been chewing through uh, all of our power, which is really interesting to me. Uh, I want some of these to level up. We don't really have an advantage in this game to not get all of our homes to level up. So they're looking for leisure, they're looking for food. So why, why don't we give that to them? I'd love to have a local market, but we're just too far away from any farms. So we are going to, again, come over here, add this here, <laughs> and right in the middle of the road is the perfect spot there. And then for leisure, we could either have nightlife, which would give us one leisure, one nightlife, or a something like a park or something of that nature. We'll get to that eventually. So we haven't had any fishing again. I don't know if we can place it on the river. I think that we can, but let's give it a shot. So I don't, this, the fishing industry from as much as I can tell, doesn't really do anything besides make people, make the homes change and make people happy. And they are nice. So these remind me of on Greenland, the, you know, I think it's like Nanuk, the, the, the different colorful homes that you see on there. And I think they're awesome. So I will continue to go for it. Even if it doesn't really do anything, I'm looking at it. What do, what do they do? They produce, oh, they produce food. They do do something. Okay. Well, in that case, see if I can add any more of these. So I was looking at this all wrong. And the reason I was looking at it wrong is I'm thinking that, oh boy, when I click on the dock, the dock itself doesn't do anything. And that's true, it's consuming. But the homes around it are producing food now. Cause I look at this and it's consuming food. So each of these is, per is producing 45. So it's in my interest, all of our interest to produce a whole bunch of fishing homes. Cause that's awesome. They do consume power as well. We are in a tough spot with our consumption at this point. We're gonna need, with our worker production, so we're gonna need more work. Let's go ahead and do that. Come around. I don't produce enough work to produce a park. <laughs> I can't build a park. All right, well, I guess it's fine. We will build a whole bunch of houses just to satisfy the game. I wanted to do something a little more fun and the game said no, nothing fun. No, no fun for you. Well, it's kind of fun. Give some access. That to me feels a lot better. I wonder if these are gonna, can these be fishing, fisher house? Yeah. So these might convert as well, but we are out of power. So it's more of that. So we're out of coal. That's one of the concerns now. We can't, if we want to get more power, we're gonna need another coal mine. If we want to continue to use coal, no coal mine within a 10 unit radius. That is a long way. We also have a huge amount of consumption to get this to work. We're going to need to just keep moving. Oh, and we're out of resources. We're out of everything. We're out of lumber. <laughs> we're out of work. Thankfully, you can never go to zero, but we, you can see how it, it can get a little bit stressful when you get into a position where you've just exhausted everything. So I'm going to place this here. That'll do the trick for the, this is a lumber. This is one of our lumber camps, so that'll help us. Now we're not at zero with our lumber, we're at 11. I don't know that that's a lot better, but but it's better than where we were. Interestingly, I would think that this is good. Oh, consumption again. We're still mad about consumption. So we need to be able to actually have that consumption, or they, that work, we need to be able to produce that work. We're very close right now to not being at zero. So we're producing, we're actually producing two. <laughs> so it's giving us our minimum of five. So I'll just add this and immediately we'll be above. We take a look again. Oh man, just brutal. Producing 4,900, consuming 4,898. And these are not upgrading. And I think a part of that's the power. So we're kind of at a stalemate. And this is why I like the clean power. I think we're gonna go for it again. Let's go ahead, we'll build a gray bridge across here. Build a road. I think we have enough to get a water mill. So we'll build that right there. Now we have enough power to, to go forward. That was stressful because it feels at that point like everything is stuck. 
And we were, we were just kind of at a, at a holding point. Even though we've got enough food, you've got to figure out that piece of the puzzle. And that's where this is a puzzle game. <laughs> it's kind of fun in that way. All right, well, we're gonna send this up again. And this is gonna be a problem. We've got all of this coal being produced and it's gonna hold our city back from spreading this way. And there's a lot of land over here. So we're either gonna have to jump ship and go to the other side of the river or we're gonna to have to start expanding into polluted land, which I wouldn't view as a as a great uh, option, but it's an option. <laughs> so we can we'll have to we'll have to see. So I'm gonna to try to get this to be as close to that other mine as possible. I think that's it. Yep, that's the yellow. So we'll put that there. And then the coal plant. I think I could put as many of these here as I want. In fact, I want to see the heavy coal plant. What it needs. We're gonna need logistics within a four unit radius and residents, that's terrible. Okay, well, what we'll do, I'm gonna put the coal plant basically four units, or, yeah, four units above because that'll give us our eight logistics in between in the future. So just thinking about what we're gonna need in the future, one, two, three, four. I don't like that at all. <laughs> oh, is this gonna work if I put it here? I don't know that it will. I, yeah, eight. No, it will. It will. So we'll put them here. Maybe we'll go back and we'll have homes on either side. Just miserable homes. Two right there, two right there, two by two, two by two. And then we'll go back eight right here. And that will satisfy what we're looking for there. So there we go. Now we are short on coal again. Really? That's what we're, that's, that's the way it's going to be, huh? That's the way it's going to be. I thought that we were okay with this. I wonder what is the problem. We've got our coal mine, our coal plant. Maybe I should let this build up a little bit. Maybe that's the concern. So I'm going to delete, I'm gonna delete the coal mine for now. And we'll let our stores build up a little bit. Now, I don't know how we get more stores, but we'll, we'll need to think, we'll cross that bridge when the time comes. We are again in a rough spot with, oh, it's kind of the never ending power issue and we're going to take care of it by adding a water mill right here and honestly i could go for another one right across i think we're going to do that so we're going to need to start utilizing this other side of the river it's just as much as i wanted to save this as kind of a rural area i think what we're going to need to do is not <laughs> so we're going to need to, to to have that on both sides so here we can have a water mill right across from that one. It's far enough away and that'll give us some buffer and overhead on our water. And I'm thinking we need to make sure that all of our granaries are absolutely maxed out before we start expanding our farms. So I'm just going to take this. Oh, and destroy the granary. <laughs> that was not my intention. All right, let's redo that. Grain silo some logistics next to it six right there that upgrades we've got some overhead not very much we've got some nice roads at the farm though that's got to account for something <laughs> so we'll go with that and we are again in in a deficit and i think that we get more stuff for our farm i am going to go ahead delete these and just add in some tenant farmers and then do the same thing here other side and then over here, I think I could get away with a landlord's house. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. There we go. So now we're re like we, we increased our food production by 500-ish by just adding in some tenant farmers. Uh, this is, I mean, that seems like a logical spot. In fact, I can add a couple more houses here. That's the edge of the city. I like it. I like it a lot. So there we go. Things are looking up. Things are looking really, really good. So at this point, might be wondering, where do we go from here? What's the next thing? What, do we, what is the next thing that we want to do? And I think a lot of it comes down to this right here. The heavy, this is where we're going to want to end. We're going to want to make sure that we have our heavy iron mines. Very important. So let's go ahead and continue to grow our community. And of course, we're on the edge with the power. We also could really use some more coal. As much as I hate that, I think we're going to add a road here. We're just kind of on the edge of everything. And that's very stressful. I was really hoping that I could put us in a position where we're not running out of everything. But So let's go ahead and build another coal mine. It's as close as we can get to it. And now we could build another coal plant. 
now our population will continue to go up. So now we can continue to grow. And here I'm going to add in, I wonder, I think I can finally get away with it. Let's add in some of these square condominium. Hmm, do not produce enough work. That took all of the work. <laughs> so there we go. And let's just have some small blocks. Oh, do we have any? We don't really have work to even build these. That said, we're right on the edge. So it doesn't take long to get back to where we need to be. So I built this road here so that we do, I, I, I don't want to overlap the forest. We're going to keep the forest there for decorative purposes and quality of life purposes. Truthfully, I'd like to have a forest behind my house. Instead, I have an alley, but you know, <laughs> either way is fine. Either way is fine. But if we had that ability here, once you chop down the trees, they're not coming back. So we will keep them there. We're in a pretty good spot as far as everything is concerned. We've got more power now, more than, more than we know what to do with. We've got... A little deficit with food and i'm wondering if i can get away planting out here it would seem to be near a villa would be an ideal spot to have some farms so i'm just gonna pepper them back through here and see if they get mad at me to unlock i need a little bit more happiness this has become a mansion 10 or more greens currently two Ooh, i'm gonna shoot for this this is something that we're gonna go for so let's go ahead and i'm gonna add in some really spectacular parks so this, each one of these is going to be two leisure. So this now for mansion, 10 or more, currently two. Thought I gave that. It's not good enough for you. Oh, within one radius. Oh, that's not good enough. So we'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of this right here. Those, which will make, I think it's going to make the villa upset. The floral park is six. We'll come over here, get rid of that, and we will add in another floral park on the other side. Actually, we don't even need to go that hard. We can just have some nice parks. So six, eight, ten. Got what you need there. So we're good. And then we'll add some fields right here. And now the real question is, how do we get our happiness up point two? So let's look at our policies and see what we can do. Truthfully, I think that we are at a place now where we need policies anyway. So right here, policies menu or J. Common gardens, produce, parks produce five food and consume 10 or five unskilled labor. Nope. So I think reduced working days would get us there. Happiness increased by 0.5. Unskilled worker produced by 10, reduced by 10%. I don't think that we can have this for long if <laughs> we do it. Better food reduces farm production by 10%, increases happiness. We can do that one. Surfs, tenant farmers and landlord houses per, uh, increase food production by 50%, while tenants reduce their happiness by four. Interesting, not good for us. And yeah, markets and football pitches, we don't have any football pitches. So I think that what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go for this, oh boy. I think we're gonna go for this better quality food and we'll watch ourselves jump up there. So now we can get our mansion. Oh, we don't have enough population. That's okay, we, we have it unlocked. Hopefully we can keep our happiness up through there. But that is going to have an impact on our food production. So we'll just need to be need to be aware of that. And there we go. That gets us back with that there. Now let's take one more look. How close are we here? We need... We've got our population unlocked. We need a steelworks and six logistics. And then we can have a heavy iron mine. So here is probably the better place for this. So let's go ahead and get our steelworks built see what we need for that so 50 consumption of food 50 skilled labor 50 power 50 iron we're gonna produce iron block so interesting we've got a lot of things that we need so what we're gonna do is continue to sprawl just a little bit so we have some more workers I'm not concerned about making this the best neighborhood in the world just yet I just need some more production for our unskilled work and we're on the edge there Okay, so now we've got a decent little buffer there. Let's go ahead and get this moving. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna eliminate, let's let's see how big this building is, first of all. It is about four unit. So I'm going to eliminate this right here. And truthfully, I think I could have built this without having direct road access. That's just more of a me thing. Oh, it needs eight logistics. Holy cow. So that's a lot. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we need one more. <laughs> so we'll get rid of that there and add a logistics. Okay, and now we can build our steelworks. And look at that, we've upgraded a couple of these. So right here, oh, we are, we are out of work. So that's the problem now. So this consumes 200 work. That Maybe this was a little bit foolish because, yeah, it says we do not produce enough work. These are all gonna try to upgrade. So we're gonna have to build a whole bunch of homes to satisfy this. See, I don't know that that was the most brilliant way of going about this. So maybe if you if I were doing that again, I'd advise against what I just did <laughs> because it was a bad idea. That said, we've already done it. So we're just gonna have to live with our mistakes. So I'm building this. We can see that we have a deficit, a slight deficit. And we no longer have a deficit of work. We have a deficit of skilled work. And do we have all these upgraded heavy iron mine, heavy iron mine, heavy iron mine, heavy iron mine. We're good. So we're going to need to resolve this, but I think that we might save that for the next one because we really want to make sure that we're not taking this place and just turning it into a monolith of really what are these oh downtown house parking lot repair shop high school bus stop unlocked we got a lot of interesting stuff we can make this a city now because we have village houses everywhere basically right now and that's that's fine but we could we could do better we could do better so let's finish that out oh don't produce enough work to finish that out. i just need to calm down build a couple more houses and then we will call it because i'm gonna build i'm not gonna leave a spot again without a park and you know that what are you what are you sad about wealthy suburb oh unhappy about the number oh and that's because we've got parking lots spawning for the first time interesting all right well we will dive into that in the next one we'll build this here and i am going to leave it let's let's take a look at our nighttime view of our community look at this looking really good one of the things i didn't share in the last one is that we can get a nice first person view so if we want a nice first person view we can hit the control button hover over where you want to be hit that oh and we are in the middle of this house looking all minecraft like <laughs> so here we are ah, 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 that's not good i don't know what i'm doing wrong <laughs> let's see very slow i'm gonna try to come in here go right here control again in a house again in a backyard you know what we're gonna get that figured out we're gonna we're gonna have to figure that out and look at that absolutely beautiful i i absolutely love the graphics in this game and i think it's really impressive that one developer is working on this this is the kind of thing like this is why i really like stardew valley uh it's one guy you know with his small team that he's built over time Working on creating a game that people can really love has some complexity and depth and oh no That's we have we have ruined something. We have ruined something. Everything is bad We are out of food. All right before we end this I need to get more food We've also lost some of our minds. Everything is breaking down. Everything is bad. All right, let's Gigantic field we have work for that. I believe can't be built in the desert there. That's okay over here so I think that they were mad because we were ignoring the food issue. <laughs> Zooming in, looking at, looking around, enjoying the city only to find that we have killed it. <laughs> we're gonna leave it here. Hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. Uh, and if you want to see me continue this series and continue variety content on Thursdays, hit that like button. I know that this is different than what I normally do, but I really have enjoyed doing it. And I want to continue to do so if it's something that you guys want to see. Otherwise, I'll just play by myself. <laughs> Either way, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.